Hey guys, I hope that you can hear me well from the distance that the phone is. But I just wanted to come on here and say I thank you all for your support sticking around as I'm transitioning through a lot of different energies that I was not expecting. I'm kind of in a threshold right now where I don't know exactly what is happening with me um, as far as career and work. And so I am just trying to get that figured out. I am trying to get things done that I've been procrastinating on for some time. So I have to really take accountability at this point. And so Raven of Hope is something I really want to work more on. But I have to schedule it in at the right time for me. So if you guys order, please understand that I'm not just, you know, making you wait for eternity. I am really working my hardest to get them done as soon as they're in uh, but it might take three to five days to get the readings and healings done just because of my schedule being kind of up in the air and I don't like to work when I'm sick and so I've been you know in and out of colds and in and out of some energies like I was saying I done a weekly reading if you watch the video before this if you haven't seen that you can go back and watch it I am also trying to work on new readings as far as pick a card with me. I'm hoping to get that done tomorrow, if not this weekend coming up. And I'm trying to also bring different content that resonates with me and you guys. And I understand if some of you, you know, are looking for particular videos, but I cannot you know understand what you guys want if you're not telling me so I'd really appreciate the engagement I'd really appreciate comments or emails of what you want and what you want me to do and I could put that on my to-do list to get it done in a time frame that is suitable for your request for an example if you're looking for Halloween readings publicly you know you've got to let me know if you want that so then I can post it and get it out before Halloween and I'm also really would love the support of patron if not patron then donations because you know I understand if some of you are looking for free resources and free readings because of your budget I totally understand that but those that can afford just a dollar would be very appreciative because this is what I love to do but it's also at times I have to take time away from other responsibilities to really get it done so you know I'd like to have an equal balance of give and give and receive with Raven of Hope because I've done so many free readings I've had false promises you know happen not only from one person but many people that you know, say that they're going to get, you know, readings and healings from me and then they don't follow through, which I understand, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, you didn't sign a contract with me and you can always change your mind anytime, but I really appreciate those that follow through. If you are unsure of if you want to get a reading or a healing from me paid, you know, just tell me that. Just say that, you know, at this time I really would like one, but I can't afford it or you know, I'm going to continue to follow you until I decide, you know, but don't say you're going to and then not do it. Um, I understand things come up and that finances change, so I'm okay with that. But it's the same people that keep promising me that and I just don't think it's very uh, respectful, especially when I give them answers, you know, instantly as soon as they email me or text me or call me or you know, message me, you know, that I understand uh, that there's not a lot of readers that offer that, but I have to put my foot down. I need to work on my assertiveness. I That's one of my biggest downfalls of being an empath is being a people pleaser, and I've got to stop doing that. I have got to watch out for my time and my energy, and so I can't keep absorbing everyone's problems 
without a little bit of boundaries and a little bit of balance back, you know, because I won't be able to do the readings that are paid, you know, the readings that are appreciated fully because I'm being drained from, you know, unreasonable resources, you know, so, you know, I, I do this for a living, I don't make much at it, and that is fine, you know, a little bit's better than nothing, but at the same time, I don't mind doing a free reading here or there, but if you're expecting it a lot, I'm going to have to put my foot down. There's so many other great healers and readers out there, and they set their price, and they don't, they're not flexible with that, and so I have been for quite some time. I've been doing this at least three to four years, and so I really need to decide if this is something that is going to be a career or it's going to be a paid hobby, and if it's going to be a career, then I have to, like I said, put my boundaries down and have my my assertiveness and also my consistency um and that's something I'm, i also struggle with that i'm trying to work on is my consistency of you know my prices what i say and what i do and how often you know so i'm working on that um, i'm not doing this to be disrespectful i'm not here to point people out i'm here to point myself out as well and take accountability that it goes on both sides of the coin and i need to do better as well but I do what I do because I love it. I feel like God has given me this as a life purpose, which means that it can be a career and it can also be, you know, something I choose to do on the side. But again, I have to really consider what I need to. And so I, you know, I'm trying to say this as clearly as possible. I do this because I love it, but I do it because spirit guides me to do it, and I feel like it's part of my life purpose, like I said, and with that being said, it's hard for me to, as a sensitive, it's hard for me to go to a day job and then have a business and balance that out, so on top of everything that I'm going through personally. I'm not asking for pity, I'm not asking for sympathy, I'm just stating the facts. And so I am just trying to verbalize to you and get across to you guys that, you know, I do my best to think of you guys first and to provide you guys with the things that you want and need first before I think of myself. I always do that. But now I need to consider myself as well equally and this is why I'm putting up some boundaries this is why I'm keeping prices the same and I'm not going to do any more free readings or healings unless I put it on Facebook and I do a, you know a limited amount I I wish you know that I can answer everyone's questions through you know messenger or emails or text messages or phone calls at a very low price to nothing but at this point I financially cannot afford that anymore uh I also, you know, have to go outside and find a day job like everybody else, you know. And so what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is that my time is not, is becoming very restricted. And so I want serious people. I want people, I want clients that are going to understand that I'm doing this as, you know, in a way that is, you know, giving and loving and as empathetic as possible without draining my energy and, you know, self-sabotaging my finances or my time. So I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm going to be doing more readings, more healings. Um, again, I'm still working on myself. I'm in and out. I'm kind of, you know, going through a lot personally. So I'm trying to get everything, you know, figured out. And again, I thank you guys for your support, your love, and you know, you know, you guys can always reach out to me. But what I'm trying, I guess, what I'm trying to say is, when you approach me, I want you to approach me also from an empathetic, as much as you can, an empathetic view, and understanding that you know, if you were working, you know, I want you guys to see Raven of Hope as a 
career as a life purpose like I do. And I, you know, someday I might have to, but I try not to um, come to people that are working and say, can you do this for me for free, you know, um, without any consideration of how that would hurt someone financially or hurt them in a way that, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, but I'm trying to do the best I can. Uh, but this is one thing I need to work on as well as my throat chakra and verbalizing things without sounding mean or sounding like I'm, you know, putting people down. I'm not. Um, but at the same time, I can no longer hide in the darkness and um, avoid conflict and confrontation. So this is why I'm making this video. It's a shadow work, you know, exercise of I, you know, don't expect me to do something that you wouldn't do if you, you know, would be doing what I'm doing, you would want to get paid, you know, you would want to have something in return, um, and it's something that is hard to, you know, say, it's not that I'm being selfish, it's not that I'm being uh, narcissistic or um, demanding or even materialistic or money hungry, um, it's, you know, it doesn't have to do about the money, it's also about energy exchange, it's about understanding that, yes, we can be friends, but it's also a professional business, and I'm a professional person, and I'm trying my hardest to be both, um, but in the past, I've just been empathetic, and I've just been a friend, and now I look at Raven Hope as more than that. I look at it as not only a community to help people to help them get the healing and the resources that they need and the messages that they need from spirit. But it's also a professional business, you know, and it's something that I want to grow and it's something that I want to eventually get enough professional flow going to it, enough financial stability so that, you know, it can become an actual entity of, you know, maybe perhaps I could get to the point where I can hire an assistant, you know, and I could provide that assistant the, the money to do the work, you know, so, or ha open up a metaphysical shop underneath Raven of Hope in the community and sell items, you know, so that's just what I wanted to get out on the table, it was very hard for me to make this video because I don't want people to think different of me, thinking that I'm being demanding or I'm being selfish or that I'm pointing anyone out like I said before but it's something that I need to work on and you know I just want to be open with people and you know I'm exposing vulnerable sides of myself of you know opening up and saying what fears me and you know <laughs> setting boundaries which is very hard for me as an empath to set boundaries because I want people to like me I want people to feel like they you know don't have to have a handful of money to talk to me that's not what I'm saying but at the same time I don't want people to you know step all over me and I don't want to be the doormat anymore and I don't want that archetype in my life anymore and so I want to be an equal and I you know always look at you as an equal and so just please be mindful and I will try to be mindful as well um, I feel like I am, but I still have a lot to work on. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this update video, this little ramble of me exposing some of my shadow side. And uh, I'm again, I'm still working on video content. I'm still trying to get everything sorted out because right now it's a jumbled mess with Samhain coming on. I'm feeling a lot of heavier energies. I'm detoxifying a lot. And I'm working with my shadow self. And I felt like I really needed to make this video to get it done, get it over with, and stop procrastinating it. And so I will be putting a disclaimer on my website. I probably will may be making more videos around surrounding this topic. And I probably will be doing more of a contract. So when you come to me for a reading or healing that, you know, you can know the boundaries that I have up per personally and professionally. And... You know, and I also want to provide a intake before you begin the reading or healing with me and then after you end the reading or healing with me and give your honest feedback. 
and that way so I can improve so I can improve as well because I don't want you to feel like I am victimizing or attacking anyone um, I'm doing this in a loving space in a place of these are my, my boundaries and so what are yours and you you're, you can leave down below the video what your boundaries are what you want me to imbue or even respect when you come to a reading or healing and what you're looking for in a reader or healer and if we see that it, we don't fit then you can go elsewhere you know no hard feelings I don't want anyone to feel hard feelings for deciding not to work with me or me to turn someone away um, I've got in the past before I in this video I felt at one time that I was not the right reader or healer for someone and I decided to refer this person to another reader that I thought would be spectacular to work with and you know not diminishing my abilities or not you know upping theirs or vice versa this person said I don't appreciate you referring me to someone else when I came to you but again not we're not always going to connect um, and that's okay and so I think there's enough readers and healers out there for everyone to find the specific one they need and so this is just a, a really a way for us to see before we even begin services before we even begin investing your money into Raven of Hope if this is right for you and this is right for me and how we're going to um, work together and if it's worth collaboration or not because I want you to invest your money and feel like you're getting the investments back in threefold rather than, you know, just here's my money and it was a mediocre reading or healing, you know. So I thank you guys for listening, for letting me come on here and be vulnerable and, you know, exposing a part of myself that is very scary to admit, but it's something I need to get done if I want to continue Raven of Hope professionally as a life purpose and career. So... I look forward to the next reading or healing or video with you guys, and I'm wishing you a great October. Um, Halloween's coming up, and I, again, I would love to do a Halloween reading for you guys. Many blessings.